Will Guyatt, tech journalist and all-round good guy when it comes to matters technology-based, is with us. How are you, Will? Yeah, good, Ian. How are you doing today? All right. That's a... Wow. That's a heck of a... What's going on there? That's a heck of a shirt. You you criticised me for broadcasting to you from a morgue, I think you said last time we spoke, or maybe yes. in the cemetery. So I thought I'd at least attempt to do something a bit different today and brighten up brighten up proceedings for the viewers on TV. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting Mr Tumble, though, I have to say. But that's uh, the, <laughs> listen, you're looking great. And the, the reason why we always like talking to you when you're in your special office there, of course, because this is your own arcade that you've got. You, you it, are surrounded by uh, classic retro uh, video games, some of the old arcade stuff. It is. One of the joys from work, working at home, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to spend quite a few days of my week working from this lovely office I built down the bottom of the garden in the rolling Wiltshire countryside when uh, we had lockdown. And uh, I built an arcade, because why wouldn't you? If you're Will Guy and you like technology, why yep. wouldn't you build an arcade? So I've got loads of old classic arcade machines, stuff like Galaxians from the late 70s, Star Wars. Uh, I've even got a Super Star Mario Wars, Kart right. from the... Uh, from the 2000s and if you get in that in it'll vibrate it'll vibrate your backside clean off if you get on that <laughs> one for a, for a race but um what i say to people is a lot of fun having arcade machines but they have a tendency of catching fire they're not meant to you know they work for certain hours of the day yeah. some of these are older than nearly as old as you some of the arcade machines really? got in this, that's that's this an outrage Th these so, are the uh, things that used to well. sit in the corner of the chippy quite nicely and then they'd swap it over about six months later but you've got a whole range of them there um listen you just touched on something that i want to look at as our first story here a major new survey from microsoft shows that bosses and workers fundamentally disagree about productivity when it comes to working from home bosses worry about whether working from home is as productive as being in the office, while 87% of workers felt they worked as or more efficient from home. Uh, the survey was not insignificant. It questioned uh, 20,000 staff across 11 countries. Uh, I, I find this fascinating. Here's what I think that happened, oh, home worker one, uh, Will, because you sit there in your, I mean, you're, you know, it's, you're in an amusement arcade. It's your place of work. What Why kind of productivity you? is that? I'm more productive working at home, Ian. I don't have to travel anywhere. I live in the countryside, thanks to Boris Johnson. I've got really good internet speed and internet connection where I live. I can do all my meetings. I can dial in globally to calls in the US. I can work on everything from here. I've got as good cameras as TV studios have got for video conferencing. I can get stuff done. And that's the most important thing. My line of work's never been nine to five, which is why it works really well. But what really frustrates me is the attitude of some of the presenters on this station who <laughs> just think people like me are time wasters and shirkers they need to get with the program this works now this technology works to the extent that we don't have to test it anymore and have this great working from home debate it works i'm not saying everybody should work from home all the time because that would be horrendous but what i would say is it works for some people and it works for me it certainly works for me several days mm. a week i wouldn't want to be in here on my own i don't i get bored playing all of these games of course while, right? can, can i just add one word to this mm. Cob cobblers will because i mean I, I hear what you're saying that you know this is like you you like working from home because you can't be bothered to go to work like the rest of us the, the point is, is that, to start with, as far as I can ascertain, lots of people were more productive when it first began. And over the course of the last year since lockdown, it's just made people lazy. And I don't no, sense... You've, I got don't no, think... you've got no evidence for that. You've got ever You might, because you might, when you work from home, you might light up a cigar five minutes into the news or whatever if you're working from home. I, I don't know what you do. But talk, calling me lazy and work shy, coming from a man who works three hours a day, <laughs> that is not fair. I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying you're lazy and work shy. What I'm saying, Will, is that you've joined the bandwagon of shirkers, even if you're not a shirk, because it's so easy, isn't it? I want to, and now people think it's their right to it work is, from it home. It should be their right. People should be allowed to do it. Why do you have to spend two hours on a train going somewhere in order to I used to, you you've known me many years when we first met I was doing a four hour commute every day that's four hours of my life I you were a better back. person back then Will I was a slimmer person because I was definitely doing a lot more walking. <laughs> but I don't know if I was a better person. But I don't like this attitude that 
uh, people automatically assume that because you work from home, you're constantly getting cups of tea or your presenteeism. You there's no, no, there's no place for presenteeism. I bet you I can do a day's work. I can do a day's work from home. I know somebody else who I'm talking to in this very conversation who's done day's work from home before. You've done, you've had to broadcast from home at various points. So I, I had you've to gone the, the government studio. locked the country down. I didn't really have a choice, did I then? But it worked, didn't it? It, it worked, it and it cut, worked. No, but what it did, it gave me initially a sense of... Because I never really liked it. Not doing this job, I like people oh, around on. me, I like my colleagues, I like the... You know, and all the rest of it. I, I mean, even now you're in you're in Zoom. Years ago, you'd have been sitting in the studio with me, but you, you're tucked up in your little arcade, having it off no. royally. Well, if... You if think you're more productive, Will. I don't think you are more productive, you just think you are. Well, if Talk offered me more money, I'd be in the studio with you every week, Ian. I work from home. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way these things work. Um, I've just been told we me. can manage an extra six quid. Does that work? Uh, not with the rising price of energy and fuel right now. But uh, for me, the technology works really well. We're able to successfully do this. We've proven that it works. I think over time, more companies will put more tools in to track workers, yeah. which will upset people. But... If you are somebody who is committed to working and doing your job from home, it can happen. That, that is where you're absolutely right. People will put more emphasis on tracking workers. There'll be other things they'll have to consider, like health and safety in your own home, because there'll be debates about whether... Especially in here. Wh whether they want to teach us. That wouldn't pass any, <laughs> pass any health and safety rule. But there'll be more of that, I sense, that you get in the workplace because there'll be legal debates about employers' responsibility to employees that happen to be at home. And when they say to people, are you more productive? And they go, yeah, I think they just mean I'm, I'm happier because I haven't got to go to work. However, we will... I mean, if anybody wants to comment on this, 0344 499 1000.